Five Under Five Christmas Tear Tray Decor, hosted by Misty from the Crafty Cove, Emily from Farm Charm Chic, and guest host Amanda from Six Kids and the Glue Gun. Host link and the playlist in the description box. For the first DIY, I'm using one of the treat sacks that comes in a pack of three at Dollar Tree. A few stamps I found at Hobby Lobby and some ink from Michaels. So I have trees that I'm going to stamp along the bottom in green. I have Ho 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 and then a North Pole postage stamp to place on the top as well. Then I just stuffed the bag with a couple of shopping bags to see how full that it would be and with two bags was just right. Then I just added a small peppermint stripe ribbon just for a little embellishment on the very top. Okay, I just have, this is just a polymer clay, roll it into a ball. I don't have a bead garland. I haven't made one for Christmas yet, so I might as well make one with a bit of sweets. So I just roll them into balls and just press them with my finger to flatten them just a bit so these can become mints. Press them all. With all of them flattened, I'm just gonna take a bamboo skewer and twist it so that I'll be able to put my string and a needle through here. And just press it back into shape and make sure that my hole is still there. For the larger one, since this will be the end piece, I'm going to put a hole here so it dangles at the end. And I'll bake these for about uh, 15 to 30 minutes. And with the paint all dry, I started making my red markings initially with my red paint pen, but then I moved on to just using um, a smaller paintbrush and the flag red apple barrel paint to finish everything out. And with that red paint dry, I covered everything in this extreme glitter hologram so it'd have a sugared effect. And with all of my paint dry, I used a large needle and I used um, these natural beads and I threaded five beads to every mint. And then on one end, I have the extra large mint and then I made a tassel with my peppermint stripe yarn even though I didn't show it on camera and then that just was on the other end. I'm so happy with the way both of these look. My cute little Santa bag with the stamps and this garland. I think this is the best garland I've ever made in my life. I am so happy with the way my little mints turned out. Let me know, what do you think? For this DIY, I found this cute little metal lunchbox at Dollar Tree. I love all of the little cookies and the hot cocoa the candies um this totally could be used to like put some decor in, have some candy spilling out but for this tear tray 
that I want to put this on. I'm just going to have it sitting up like this. I love this front image. I have some scrap uh, piece of peppermint ribbon um, to just make into a small little bow I think will look really cute right on top and I have a couple of gingerbread left over from a project that I didn't um, some extras that I didn't use so just kind of get my ribbon together here and get this hot glued on the top Okay, so I don't want to block my gingerbread man, so if I put this right on top, I'm going to block his face. So I think this will look really cute in the corner, and then I'll take one of my gingerbread men and stick right in the center of the bow, and then I have one left over. Maybe I'll have him standing up on top. That might be a really cute look. For this next DIY, I have some Tumberland Tower Blocks, Peppermint Ribbon, some of the Dollar Tree um, Gingerbread Men, and Nutmeg. So I'm going to go ahead and paint my gingerbread with the Nutmeg. So I have my gingerbread painted, and what I want is to have a stack. I was inspired by something that Melissa makes at DIY did. It was so adorable. She had them stacked, and then I'll have Tumbling Tower Blocks as the base. But um, maybe I'll switch it up. Um, I'm gonna make a few of these, maybe like a pastel color, because I do have some bright like candy colored stuff in my decor. So maybe I'll take, um, I'll take a couple more of these and paint like um, a couple like pink or um, lavender. Yeah, I'll take two of them and then I'll, I'll paint two more in a different color. Okay, so here are my other two. So maybe, uh, I can have, make it that. That's fun, little pops of color. So these guys need, I'm gonna give them some little features. So I'll go ahead and add all the little embellishments on each one, and then I'll come back on camera and start setting them up with glue.
Okay, so these will sit on tumbling power blocks. And I think I want to try to cover it in this peppermint ribbon just to give it even more of that Candyland type feel. So I'll add um, Mod Podge. With the wood covered and the Mod Podge, I added my ribbon and going over the edge, the satin ribbon is resistant to like going over edges and going over like rounded areas. But the first side I did eventually get that to stay with the Mod Podge, but the second one I did have to end up using hot glue. Then I covered them all in Hologram Extreme Glitter. And with the Mod Podge dry, I went ahead and clipped off the excess part of the ribbon. I wish I would have painted this white first because with the Mod Podge dry, you really can see the raw wood color through the ribbon. And with that glitter, paint all dry. I did a dry fit to see how I wanted to set this up for the glue and I found the spots I needed to attach my glue, added a generous amount, placed it down, and then I added more glue behind just to make sure that it was secure and wouldn't fall back. I adore this gingerbread stack. I love them so much. I love that they're not all brown. Uh, the pops of pink and lavender are just perfect for my Candyland theme. I think they're so adorable. What do you think of my gingerbread stack? Okay, so for this one, I have a Dollar Tree wood round. I've already painted this white with Apple Barrel Matte White and I'm using Flag Red to make my red marks, my peppermint marks, so that this will become a large starlight mint. And I'm just gonna freehand this. Initially, I was gonna use tape, but I just feel like that's gonna be really difficult. And it's easier just to eyeball it, just to look at it and go all the way around. And I just continued going all the way around and onto the sides so it really looked like a starlight mint. Then I took some white paint to touch up a few areas. Then with all of that dry, I move on to starting on her facial features and I start to give her her eyes and mouth and nose.
Then I move on to filling in her nose and her eyes a bit more. And to fix some of the spots on her eye, I just take a toothpick and dab it in the white apple barrel paint and just take my time and go through and dab each little area until I get it covered up. So I give her some eyebrows and then I grab some peppermint striped ribbon so I can give her a small bow on the top of her head. If you're not already subscribed, please consider subscribing to my channel. It's totally free and I would love to have you on board. So I decided that she was missing a little color in her cheeks, so I used seashell pink from Folk Art and the handle from a foam brush just to give her just a little bit of color in her cheeks. Then I give a healthy coating of the hologram glitter paint so she'll be nice and sparkly and gorgeous. With all of my glitter paint dry, I go ahead and attach the bow to the top and Miss Starla, the Starlight Mint, is complete and I think she's absolutely beautiful. Tell me what do you think of my large Starlight Mint? Okay, so I have this wood breadboard. Um, Dollar Tree's calling this a breadboard. I've already painted this white with the Apple Barrel matte white paint. I have a transfer from um, Chalk Couture. I am not a designer. I purchased this from one of my crafting friends, Living Life with Lawn. I will put her channel in the description box. You can contact her, but I don't sell it. <laughs> I'm not a designer. So I think I'm gonna situate this like this and use a bit of some of these. I'll make red, um, one red, one white, or one green and one pink. So I'm gonna have to mix I don't know what happened, but I rinsed the transfer, added more paste, and then my candies came out fine. I'm using this red and white yarn as a trim to go all the way around the cutting board. And then I have an extra little gingerbread man and a piece of clay that I made from another project um, that was supposed to be a piece of candy. So I go ahead and add the color embellishments with my paint markers to those and then I hot glue them to the top of the cutting board.
This Candyland cutting board came out so cute. I really love it. Let me know what do you think in the comments. Thanks so much for watching today. Making these was so much fun. Please check out all of our hosts. They are wonderfully talented and the playlist as well. I hope you have a very Merry Christmas.